Welcome to the Woman Warriors Podcast, where we're working to help you call a truce with your anxiety. The information in this podcast is not a substitute for seeking help from a licensed mental health professional. Now, here's your host, Elizabeth Cush, LCPC. For whatever reason, of all, and maybe it was because of the controversial Peloton ad, but I was hyper aware of all of the ads this year, you know, leading into New Year's and after New Year's Day about exercise to a better you, exercise to a better body, eat healthier. If you eat healthier, you'll be a happier person, you know. They all seem to be geared on how to be a better you. And I'm left with this feeling of like, what about the me that I am? Like, what about the me that's me? Do I have to be better? Do I have to lose weight, eat healthier, be on a keto diet or a paleo diet or a Mediterranean diet to be a better person or be happier. And there's also all of this push to create intentions, create resolutions, vision boards, manifest your desires for the new year so that you can live your optimal life And for whatever reason, it just, none of those messages resonated with me this year. And I think part of that is that I just really want to take care of myself because I care about me. And I want to be the best person that I can be, but I want to do it in a way that feels true and real and genuine to me. And part of that process for me is really taking the time to listen to what I need. And I think what brought all of this to a head for me was that uh, when we, for, for me, as well as many Americans and probably other countries too, that the holidays are often focused around food, eating amazing, delicious things, drinking, socializing, and not necessarily drinking alcohol, but sometimes here in the U.S. especially, drinking alcohol is often a big part of that. And so if the holidays where we're supposed to be joining together with the people that we love over these amazing meals, then why are we punishing ourselves when the new year rolls around about how fat we are or how we need to get into better shape or you need to be a better you? And I know a lot of that comes from our personal stories around food and weight. And I definitely have some family stories about weight gain, being the optimal weight, being in shape. So there is a whole lot of internal stuff that goes on for me when I gain weight, which I always do on the holidays. I don't know why I think it's going to be different. I always do. I want to allow that to happen without then turning on the shame, without that guilt, shame, flow of emotion and recriminations internally. So tuning in this year, this is my goal for 2020. This is my hope for 2020 is to take the time to pay attention to what I need. I don't mean this to be like these grandiose, huge 
ideas or ideals. It's really just about bringing an awareness and curiosity to my experience in the moment and what is it that I'm needing right in this moment. And sometimes, you know, if I'm at work taking a moment to pause, it just means I'm noticing that I need to go to the bathroom or I need a drink of water. But sometimes too, I need to express myself. I need to speak up if I'm feeling hurt or angry or frustrated or anxious and to just say it out loud, to just put it out there. And sometimes it's just saying it to myself, whether other people have to be involved in that process or not. Sometimes it's just owning for myself what my experience is. But it's really hard to say that my new year intention is to make me a priority because I'm so tuned into like, don't be selfish. You know, don't put yourself first because that's not kind. Or, you know, being selfless is deemed so much more worthy and I'm not sure that's necessarily the best thing. So it's not about being selfish. It's not about being mean or unkind. It's about self-compassion and self-care, self-love, and taking care of my needs, tuning in and taking care of needs. So how do we tune into what we need? How do we pay attention to our bodies to our emotional state, to our physical being, to know what we need. And I think the number one thing that can help with that is making space. Giving yourself the space to be present in your experience. Slowing things down, taking a moment to ask yourself what you need, taking a moment to pause and be curious with you about your needs in that moment. Another great way to tune into yourself is taking some time in nature. Our natural environment helps us to reset. It creates a natural calm within us. Within us, There's research around that. And it gives us space to move and to be with our environment. We can also pay attention and be with our bodies. Move our bodies. When you're stressed or hungry, or anxious, or depressed, or tired. Notice that. Tune into that. Pay attention to that. And ask yourself in those moments when you're noticing whatever it is, what can I do to support myself in this moment? Because your body will tell you. Your body will tell you how you're feeling if you take the time to listen. So on another note, I wanted to share that I've created a Facebook group for the Woman Warriors podcast listeners. It is a space where we can support each other share our stories, find resources, and be with each other in this worrying time. So I hope you'll join me there. It's on Facebook. It's the Woman Warriors Group. I will share a link 
to it on Instagram and Facebook and on Twitter. So if you're interested, if you if you identify as a female and you are of kind heart and spirit and you want to be joined by other women who who want to better manage their stress and distress and anxiety, join us there. I hope you will. Well, I hope you all enter this new year in a place that feels right for you, whatever that is. And I hope you will find some acceptance and love and compassion for wherever you are. Right here, right now. Ciao for now from This Woman Warrior. Thanks for listening and subscribing to the Woman Warriors podcast. Music was written and performed by Andy Cush. If you'd like more information on this episode, you can find the show notes, the resources shared today, and links to the guests' profiles at womanwarriors.com. Thank you.